Yes, I'm glad people are showing up. I'm glad you guys are here to hang out and enjoy silly fun today uh, with Star Wars. So... Would I ever stream on Kick? Um, I'll be honest, I didn't hear good things about Kick. Like, I've heard that Kick isn't very moddable, meaning, like, it's pretty hard to moderate over there and control the, the dialogue in a chat, in which case I wouldn't want to stream there because I have so many trolls who know that they would try to ruin it for my community. Like, if you can't really mod well, how are we going to stop trolling to the point where people who actually like the content can, can chat? Like, here, look, we can all have a conversation, right? Over there, I've heard you can't really do that. So I wouldn't want to do that. In addition, you know, I like having my content in one place. I like it that people know that I'm streaming here. I put my videos here. To separate myself into many different places when I don't have a giant viewer base probably wouldn't work. Um, I would much rather have it all in one spot. And already I don't have a giant viewer base. It would be one thing if I was like, oh yeah, every time I stream I get thousands of people. Oh, I'll, I'll stream everywhere. I don't have that. I don't have that kind of, of, that kind of clout, that kind of draw, so. <clears throat> is it see i don't know it's, i only know what i've heard i've never streamed i'm not saying that streaming on kick would always be out of the question or whatever i've also heard the revenue model over there is bizarre because they pay a ton of money yet people are like there's no way that's sustainable and they're gonna like definitely change that or go out of business and i'm like i, I have a model here that works the contributions i get on these streams the ad revenue i get on these streams i make a living so I'm not looking to get rich quick on kick and then have the whole thing fall apart either, you know? <laughs> um. So guys, tonight, we're going to chill for about two hours playing Battlefront. But of course, keep in mind when I play this game, it's not ultra serious. We can talk, we can joke, we can, we can hang out. That's kind of the point. The game's not great. The game is pretty much a mess. Um. So it's funny just to kind of hang out and have a good time. So I hope that you guys are here for that. And any support tonight of any kind is greatly appreciated. To end the week, anything is great. Whether it's a super chat, a membership, a tip, a gifted membership, uh, a thumbs up on the stream for engagement. If you're just here to hang out and you can't do any of those things, that's perfectly fine. I just want to have a, a nice relaxing time with you to end the week. Um, and again, I'm just going to say this, all right? Ignore any trolling. Ignore any nonsense. Uh, already it's beginning, so I'm going to set up a little pinned message here, okay? go there we go pin the message now there's no excuse please ignore the nonsense if i see people bringing it up i'm just gonna start moderating i i didn't i don't know about it till you guys tell me i literally don't look at view count so i have no idea who how many people are on any of my streams at all i really don't um but you guys bring it up and i'm like and the thing is again with those view bots they don't count they don't give me actual views. They don't give me ad revenue. It's a fake thing that people do that floods the stream and and basically just, oh, look at that, look at that. It's it's stupid. Don't give attention. It's like looking at some moron in the middle of the street freaking out, ripping his clothes off, defecating all over the pavement. Just ignore him and walk by him, okay? <laughs> they know heed to the nonsense. <clears throat> okay, uh, let's do shout outs because we actually have some. Jordan with a super chat says, have much fun. Well, thank you, Jordan. I will try to have much fun tonight. Uh, with all of you. Like I said, this is more of a hangout session, honestly, than a game session, but I know you guys like it when I kind of mess around with this game, so let's have a good time tonight. Uh, first tip of the night is a $2 tip. If you get the Rebels, play the Bothan Spy class, you will get a stealth no, you will get stealth, and this makes you... No, let me try this again. You get stealth, and you can incinerate multiple enemies at close range. Okay, I tried the Bothan Spy and had no idea what I was doing, so I never really used it. If I'll see if it unlocks tonight as Rebels, and I'll give it a shot. I know. I think you go invisible first, and you then they can't detect you unless you fire, right? I think so. I think that's how it works. Okay. All right, well, I received... 
a $50 tip from Waffins, who says, I hope your night is going well. Well, thank you, Waffins, for a $50 tip. I appreciate this. Now, Waffins, I really hope that you're legit. And the reason I say that, please understand that I'm not ungrateful, but I have to be skeptical because there's a few people, you're one of them, who recently have just mysteriously started coming by my streams and doing these contributions. And I don't really know you that well. You just kind of started joining, right? And I appreciate it because I know you became a member and you've done super chats as well. And now you're doing these tips. I really appreciate it. But I just hope that it's real. And I just want to bring up with everyone that already trolls have come out and admitted that over the last month, they have organized an effort to give me tips. And then basically they're going to all charge them back later in the month. That's what they're saying. They're going to try to, at the end of this month, hit me with a ton of chargebacks which of course would really screw up my business. And I can't stop that. I would have to argue and dispute them all. I just hope that, you know, you get a few new people. There was Waffins. There's also this um, Thorax, the plumber, who came by last month with a, su or, or last night actually, with a super generous tip. And it's like, I just hope that these are legit. And the fact that Waffins already did other contributions makes me feel a little bit better about it. So thank you Waffins for that. Uh, I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt. I really appreciate it. And uh, thank you. The night, obviously, is going to go well as we relax here and we enjoy Star Wars together, right? So, let's see what happens. Hopefully, fingers crossed, all of these different contributions that have been coming in recently are legit. If a few of them are bad, I mean, there's nothing I can do. And, uh, you know, again, hope for the best. <clears throat> and I, I appreciate that, Waffins. I hope it, it is legit. Okay. Cool. Um, Dark Souls Master just did a super chat and says, Hey, may the force be with you tonight. Thank you, Dark Souls Master, for that. It's not that they're illegitimate. Someone just said, I thought that, pay that PayPal validates tips. It's not that stuff's illegitimate. It's that people lie after the fact and commit fraud. Like, literally, they will say to, to PayPal, Oh, uh, that was not authorized, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So, there you go. And no, Sarah, there's no way that I cannot acknowledge a contribution until it hits my bank account. I mean, would you never want me to shout out contributions ever? I mean, that's what it would be then. I would literally never be shouting anything out. Because <laughs> keep in mind, it is fraud. It's actually a crime. I'm not joking. It's a crime to lie to PayPal and say, oh, that was an unauthorized transaction uh, or... You know, oh, I didn't mean to do this. Or, you know, sometimes they just lie outright about bullshit. They'll be like, oh, you know, this was this was a sale on PayPal. Like, no, it wasn't. <laughs> there was no sale. There was no no sale transpired. You know, but they'll they'll try to be bullshitting in order to try to fuck around. And then I, I clap back and I say, no, absolutely not. Here's the evidence. You know, here's my, my PayPal page where people tips through. It says right on it. It says no refunds. It's a tip that was lively, live shout out. Here's the evidence. Here's the moment of the video where it happened. And, you know, it's in the hands of PayPal. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, you know. I just hope that, again, this isn't like a concerted effort by a bunch of people that all of a sudden at the end of this month now I'm going to get a ton of chargebacks back to back. That would really hurt me. So anyway, I hope it's legit. And again, Waffins, please understand, I'm not, I'm not trying to talk negatively about you or saying that I believe that this is, you know, that you're faking or anything. I'm just saying, you know, I got to be skeptical. It's you and literally you and maybe three other people recently have come by in the last couple of weeks and all of a sudden I'm getting these tips. It's like, hmm, right? It'd be one thing if I knew it was like a regular or someone, you know, who like we talking and chatting. But all of a sudden, all at once, a few people coming by and doing these tips, just to forewarn you, uh, it is a crime what you're doing. And, uh, you know, I'll do my best. If for anyone who has ideas, again, not saying that this is Waffins, but anyone who has ideas that they're going to commit a crime, yeah, I don't let it go. I'll go right to PayPal with all the evidence. I'll tell them they should be prosecuting, and, uh, you know, we'll see what happens. Uh, Mr. Game Master did a super chat. He says, Star Wars Outlaws and AC Shadows are both on Ubisoft+. Plus. I didn't see that about, uh, about Assassin's Creed yet. I was looking, and I couldn't find that information. We get three days early access and all bonus for Ultimate Edition stuff. Well, that's crazy, then. That's great. If you get all the content and you're playing it early, that's pretty neat. I mean, why on earth would you not get Ubisoft Plus, right? Why? I guess the better question is, who in the holy hell would buy the game, right? Who would buy the game, right?
You know, the thing is, anyone who actually uh, does a super chat or a membership, like, those are legit. Now, of course, there's fake memberships that are done through a, a VPN, which we know about. But anyone who's doing the legit ones, I can see that they're legit, and that never gets refunded. It's only the tips that have the chance to be refunded. Game Boy, what's going on? How are you tonight? So, like, for example, Dark Souls Master, I am I have no accusations to say that I think that you're, you're a troll because it's, you're doing legit super chats, you know? Waffins has a nine-year-old channel? Holy shit. Nine years old? Damn. I went to his channel. It's nine years old, so it's been around for ages. Here. Can I go to his channel? I'm sure I could if this would work. Go to channel. Let's look. Got some random stuff. <laughs> Completely random stuff. All right. Well, Waffins, again, I hope you're legit. Like I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you the benefit of the doubt and trust you. Thank you for that very generous first tip of the well, second tip of the night. Excuse me, it was the second tip of the night. Okay. <clears throat> What's his credit score? Oh, it's pretty good. It's like a like a 696, I think. It's a pretty good credit score. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right, are we ready? 